By turning out time in their second year, the calves are now big and almost ready for slaughter. If not, then they will again be turned out into the fields to continue growing until they are heavy enough for slaughter. Once they have reached this ideal weight, then the farmer will sell them. Some farmers take their cattle to a livestock market to be sold. Like here at Moulton, the cattle are weighed and put in a ring. The auctioneer then takes bids or offers from buyers. The beef animal is sold to the person who offers or bids the most money. Good afternoon, my name is Tim Laverick from A Laverick and Sun Butchers in Home and Spalding Road. What we have here today is three cattle that were killed on Tuesday. We went on to the farm with the farmer, Mr George Mounter from Newport, which is roughly about 10 miles away from Home and Spalding Road. Uh, had a look at these cattle, decided they were good enough for us and we had them killed at our local slaughterhouse house four miles down the road at Bowen. We fetched them back into the fridge today on the Wednesday and we will start cutting these up most probably beginning to back end of next week. But what we have here is a side of beef. This is what we call a four quarter and this is what we call a hind quarter. And those two pieces together make a side. So if we put that one, that one, that one and that one that is a bull animal, and that's what we call a full body of beef. Every animal that we buy, and also every animal that is sold in this country, comes with a passport, just like you and I, if we want to go to a foreign country. And this passport stays with this animal until it is slaughtered. So on here, I have all the information on these tickets of where this animal so it gives me its own personal ear tag number, which is unique to this animal, where it's supposed to slaughter to be, because each slaughterhouse has a UK number, which is a four figure number. The date of birth it was born on, the breed, and the date it was killed on. Right, here we have a four quarter of beef. I'm going to show you how we go about cutting this up and show some of the joints and where they come from. So for a start, I'm going to take the shin off. The shin will be boned off and used for a bit of stew or a bit of mince or even sometimes into a bit of burgers. I'm going to take off what they call the gorister. That's the gorister. So we've two very big bones in there of which we'll Take the meat off the bone, take the nice bit of lean out for some mince, burgers or a bit of stew. This piece that I'm cutting off here is the brisket, which we take all the bone out, a bit of the fat out and roll that up. That will make a nice slow roast, pot roast joint. Right. We've now got it into more manageable pieces. We still have the brisket here, which we're going to take the bones out and roll it up. When we get finished, it looks something like that. Take a bit more of the fat out of it and make it nice and lean. And that's a bone and roll brisket. So from that, we get that. Now I'm going to take the rib of beef off, or also can be called the four rib, which we would count four ribs. One, two, three, four. Cut it there. But we have a job that somebody likes them a bit larger, so we'll count another two ribs, count six ribs, and go through there. So there I have a rib of beef, of which we can do two things for it. We can keep it like that as a nice big roasting joint, we can take it off the bone. Take that iron piece out of there, and that's where you revive it from. So that's how we are here at Rick and Sun here, cut up the four quarter of it. Right, here we are in the shop now. So all that hard work done down the yard, cutting all the beef up, 
now it comes up to the shop where we put it into the counter and display it. Right, here we have a selection of our beef. So here we have the roll brisket, which came from the fourth quarter. Some topside from the hind quarter. The fillet steak, the most expensive. Sirloin steak, same again from the hind quarter. And some mince and some stew from the trimmings of when we cut the four and the hind quarter up. Some nice rump steak off the rump from the hind and a bit of best braising steak which comes out of the hind quarter for sort of a slow roast casserole, same as your stew. And here we have, if you remember, the big rib of beef. We've actually taken that off the bone, boned it and rolled it.